So as we get closer to the release of Season 3 for Halo Infinite, we just received a new blog talking about the playlist coming for the next month and some major changes are coming for your experience when it comes to playing Halo Infinite. So if you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button as it is the best way to help out the video in general within this all famous YouTube algorithm. Subscribe as we're going to do a lot of content when it comes to Season 3 for Halo Infinite. And let's get right into those details. So 343 just released this blog update, guys. I'll give you the TLDR of everything you need to know about this. It's going to be some crucial stuff for your experience on how to enjoy Halo. So we're going to have two dedicated players when it comes to the new content coming in the game with the three new maps of Cliffhanger and Chasm being a separate playlist and also BTB map of Oasis being its own separate playlist. But they're doing it a little differently this time around where they're going to have the two players called one is going to be Arena Unlimited. That's going to feature Chasm and Cliffhanger. That's going to be their day one for season three release. You're going to have modes of Escalation Slayer, CTF, King of the Hill, Slayer, Strongholds, as well as One Flag CTF. And so you just be able to jump in and experience the new stuff. But Oasis is going to be a little bit later, but they're going to have their own BTB Unlimited playlist, which is going to be just Oasis 12v12 with BTB Escalation Slayer, which should be quite interesting to say the least. CTF, Slayer, Fiesta, Fiesta Total Control, and regular Total Control. But this playlist won't be coming until a week after the launch of Season 3. So if you wanted to play Oasis Day 1, you're just gonna have to get real lucky. Though 343 did say that they are going to weight the new content, as in the three new maps, heavier within the first week of the rotation of maps, so you're not playing for like two hours and not getting Oasis. We also are seeing a bit of a change when it comes to the permanent playlist for Halo Infinite. That's gonna be Quick Play, Bot Bootcamp, Fiesta Team Slayer, Tactical Slayer, as well as Big Team Battle. 343 also released this month roadmap for the launch of Season 3 for Halo Infinite. If you guys wanna check out everything in this, make sure you just pause the video and you get to see what everything is happening my biggest gripe with this is that we're not getting any ranked free-for-all within the foreseeable future of halo infinite we do have lone wolves coming in for social but i like ranked free-for-all and that's not happening at all in fact we have ranked survivors right now and then we'll have ranked doubles and then going right back to ranked survivors and i'm just kind of like dude come on like give me some ranked free-for-all i love to play that mode but it's not coming anytime soon Ray for three also goes into how they're changing the ranked experience for season three as well we did see the recent update on february 28th showcasing that they're only going to be matching you based off of csr that's your current rank within the game if you're a diamond two you'll be matching against people based off of that rather than your hidden mmr which is much more your fluctuating current rank at the moment so now csr is actually going to matter when it comes to playing ranked crazy i know though tashi did say that mmr is still going to be involved when it comes to the team balancing which is fine at that point but one of the biggest changes coming in with season three is that your placement matches are going to go from 10 to five so you'll only need to play five ranked matches until you actually get your ranked and then you get to actually grind up into your proper rank because if you guys remember you get placed one tier below your actual rank so if you're an onyx tier player the highest you can place is diamond one but no matter what mode you play in halo you pretty much know how good the hidden mmr is because every match in halo infinite is pretty sweaty so the mmr has got you down pretty good of what kind of skill level you should be so reducing that grind of playing 10 matches then to grind again and reducing that down to five matches then you can actually grind your rank i am all for that that's an excellent change probably my happiest change we're seeing coming with season three now we should be receiving a sandbox blog coming out very soon before the release of season three talking about all the changes that are coming to all the weapons within the game which that's going to directly affect how you're going to be playing halo infinite and we'll cover that in detail on this channel now 343 did recently showcase the deep dive into the three new maps coming into halo infinite as well as a surprise announcement in forge if you guys want to know everything about that well, check out this video right here. Thank you much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.